Joe, a question for you. Uh, do you have a WRA here? Nah, piecemeal contract. I just want to be on the safe side. No problem. This is Ben D. When he stepped out of a meeting to splash his clogs, his workmates decided to elect him as their safety representative. Ben E boldly rose to the challenge and has just completed his first safety course, so he can officially call himself the safety representative. You have to be able to get through here, right? And I know, uh, I know I've been a terrible sinner. I've taken the mickey out of the WRA and the Danish Working Environment Service. Joked about safety and uh, that's all in the past. This is no good. I know for well I'm the sort of person who says, no worries. But actually, there are. <laughs> Look at this nasty plank. That's no good. What's up, Menti? I'm Mr. Safety Representative. Huh? Ready for a guided tour? Come in. That's JJ, safety coordinator. He's an important guy. Yeah, yeah, here I come. That panel there needs to be up on the wall. Straight forward, right? <laughs> Work safety, right? It's danger everywhere. Ah, this place needs a tidy up. This can't stand here. This should be in a cradle. It's for my own safety. So, it's about drawing on your own experience when you see something dangerous. So, tidy up. How hard could it be? Dangerous, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can fall through there. Okay, what do we got? An unmarked hole, right? Yeah. The panels. Yeah. Personal protective equipment. We have to remember the general clean-up and the WRA. Yeah, that's great, Benty. You know what? You seem to have uh, everything under control, so you take charge of the meeting. What? I'll be off. Yeah, I've got some other business. What, what do you want me to say? Okay, we... WRA. That's mandatory. The company has to comply. Must comply with statute regulations. <laughs> that sounds good. Great. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I gotta go, Neymar. Hi there. Ben T, uh, safety representative. I've just been on an uh, inspection of the site with uh, Jorgen. There's a couple, uh, there's a couple of things uh, we need to discuss. But I'd just like to know, just uh, get things straight. Have there been any accidents up till now? Any injuries to date? Yeah, one guy suffered a head injury. What? All right. Very funny. It was an unavoidable accident, right? Hey, hold on a second. There's no such thing as an unavoidable accident. All accidents Whoa. are avoidable. Uh, listen, I got too carried away, eh? Let's move on. Come on. Let's just, uh, let's just get the formalities out of the way. I've made a list of everything. Let's see, there's some panels we need to look at. Uh, I've got uh, an appointment to keep. You got an appointment? Okay. As I was saying, there's some panels and uh, some ladders and uh, that aren't up to scratch. And uh, we... Uh, just need a cigarette. You just need a cigarette? Yeah, not allowed to smoke any. No, no. Of course. As I was saying, uh, it, there's some panels and some ladders we need to look at and uh, lots of cleaning up. And of course we have to discuss that uh, accident we just talked uh, about. Uh. Uh, hello, it's Rasmus. Yeah, hi Mum. Is that you again? No, I'm just in the middle of a safety meeting. Yep. Doesn't matter. But uh, uh, I think we should bring the meeting uh, to a close then. And, uh, Okay, uh, we stop here for today. Uh, we'll discuss this uh, later. Right? Yeah. Put your foot down. Tell them where to get off. That's easy to say, but I've tried it. Just end up looking like a damn fool.
Hey! What the hell's he thinking? Hey! You're not what? standing there whispering in a corner, are you? Talk to myself while I'm talking. Who the hell does he think? This is the end. The sure as my name's Bent E. On his safety course, Bent E learns that safety starts at home. But when that's not enough, he decides to find out if anyone on the job knows anything at all about safety. Hi, uh... Hello. Stig C. That's me. Ben T, I'm the safety representative. Yeah. This is Stig C, he's a safety coordinator. Stig C, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to be a safety coordinator? Now, I'm the developer's representative here on site. In other words, it's I'm his eyes and ears. Yeah. And it's my job to make sure it complies with all the rules and regulations that all of them are complied with when I walk about the building site, you see. Safety on the building site like this is handled by the safety coordinator. who will make sure that, that the trade groups on the site, there might be one, 10, or even 12, or more. You just have to make sure that once every two weeks, the safety group is present at a safety meeting. And when I say the safety group, that's the safety representative and the chairman, and then all the players here sit at the table and plan safety for the next two weeks. That's Stig C, safety coordinator. He knows what he's talking about. Thanks, Stig C. You're welcome. That's Birgitta W. She's a safety manager. I need to get my hands on her. I mean, to talk to her. Hi, Birgitta W. Hello. Ha, ben T. Okay. Well, I'm a safety representative. But you're the safety manager. That's something different, right? Can you tell us a little bit about what that means? Being the safety manager means that I visit all our building sites to check that there's the proper safety and to see if there's anything needs to be done and answer any questions. And I believe that just visiting the different building sites helps people to think, to think a bit about safety. OK. So people begin to behave when they see you coming? Yes. <laughs> and they never know when I'm planning a visit, so they have to behave all the time. I see. But the job of a safety manager is to help you and so it's also my job to ensure that our building sites comply with our rules and with those of the Danish Working Environment Service. And there's Kel G from the Environment Service. He knows a few things about safety, right? Kel G? Yeah. Ha. Hi. Ben T? Hi. Ha. I'm from the Working Environment Service. Yes. Yeah, from the DWES. Uh, anyway, uh, Kelchi, you must be able to tell us a thing or two about safety on the building site. Uh, well, what can I say? It's about making sure, you see, that people don't get hurt. Uh, and in that connection, it's very important that people work together, you know. Uh, which means, in fact, that the foreman is a very important person in the day-to-day -day running of the site. Because unless the foreman focuses on safety and the working environment, you can be sure that the workers won't either, you see. So in addition to all the workers playing their part, the decision has to come from the top as well, you know. You can't do it on your own, can you? Uh, nah, of course I can't. What about, what about the WRA? Is that, uh, is that, uh... It's a really good idea, you know. Right? It's not only a good idea, it's a requirement. Yeah, OK. But it's also a really good idea because... I just once... wanted to say that I knew it was a requirement, uh, a legal requirement. <laughs> WRA is a way of enabling the individual company to collaborate with all its workers, all its employees. It alerts foremen to any problems so we can do something about them before anyone gets hurt. Well, uh, thanks for that. It was great Thank to hear you. about all this job safety in the workplace. See you around. Ben E, safety representative. I've come to talk to the management. Listen up. It's your safety, your WRA and well-being. It's up to me, it's up to you, and it's up to everyone on the site. If everyone does their bit and uses the inside of their helmet, there's nothing to it, is there? 